slightly different from a technology point of view. I've got my comments happening over on the side here on a different screen. Uh, because we're doing a die production chat sort of thing, um, I'm not going to be able to watch the comments as closely as we know when I'm sometimes I'm dying. I can't see uh, the comments as well just because I do need to focus on the pans and I do need to focus on other things. So, you know, if I miss your question, keep popping it through. Um, and I will see what I can do. Um, good morning to everybody in the chat. Hey, Vilek, we haven't seen you in ages. Welcome back to the chat. Lots of people watching, so thank you all for coming. Um, I'm clear over here. Excellent. Thank you, Rollins. I appreciate it. We're running on um, the Wi-Fi from my house, and uh, so if it drops out, guys, I'm not going to restart the stream just because I just need to keep going with the dying today. So if we disappear, it's going to be for good, I'm sorry to say. So if you can keep an eye on that. Um, oh, odd but nice. Thank you. I'm so glad you love your yarn kit. Um, I really try to make sure that when the kits come out, they look beautiful. And, and, you know, I'm not a big company, so I don't have the special boxes and packaging, but I try my best. And I'm glad you like the yarn that you got. Um, so good morning to everybody in the chat. Good morning, Game Widows. Um, so I have no idea what happened to the sound last week. I'm using the exact same setup. I changed nothing. So I don't know. <laughs> it just stopped. Um, so what we're going to be doing today, I'm not sure if you guys caught the Instagram live that I did just before, um, but what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be focusing on a bit of speckling. As you know, it's not my comfort zone, so I'm a little like, yeah, with it, but I'm getting more comfort comfortable and confident with it. Um, and I actually personally like using them, so it's like a really big push for me mentally to just get them done. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing some speckles that match my existing range of colours. So, you know, if you like Joss, if you like... Um, Blurple and Violetish and all those colours. I'm going to be doing speckles that will match with those colours. Um, I, was, I was having quite an interesting conversation with another dyer and, and she, she, with Kylie. I'm not sure if Kylie's here today. And we were talking about how we both are on colour journeys and how she's becoming more comfortable dyeing um, tonals or semi-solids to go with her speckles because she, she's a speckling queen. And I'm becoming... I'm not going to say more confident, I'm becoming less 
refusing to do it <laughs> and more willing to do speckles that match my semi-solids because semi-solids are my, and tonals are my sort of bread and butter. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's one of those things. Um, your hair has its dye too, Bendigo ready. Absolutely. Now guys, I've got um, water, so I'm going to constantly keep hydrated today because I've got so much dyeing to do. For some reason, the chickens have been harassing me in this dying area. As you can see, it's just a patio off the back of my house, so they can just come through whenever they want. So we try to keep them at bay, but it doesn't always work. The other thing to remember is while two pans are on camera, there is a third pan. We also have a second set of cookers off to the side. Andrea's going to be moving things in and out for me, um, as, as you know she does, because that's her, you know, her game plan. So, um, I'm just going to drop, actually I'll leave the temperatures where they are, I'm just checking, I'm just checking, I, which is something I should have checked before, make sure I can reach over to where the yarn is, hi Andrea, we can see you, uh, no. <laughs> um, make sure I can reach over to the yarn, actually Andrea's here, yeah. did you want to move that, yeah. sorry, thank you, I was just, I'm like, my microphone will make it, but I probably won't, um, so if I could please have, um, 100 gram and then the four minis. Thanks. So what I've got is I've got the 100 grams. I'm going to drop us into the over the pots view. There we go. And we'll get these guys going. So we're going to do these ones with what I'm going to be titling because, you know, we have to come up with these names for things. It's going to be Essence of Joss, which actually sounds quite bad considering we know Joss as a human person. Um, most of the other colourways don't have human people names, so it won't be so weird. But it's basically all the colours that I mix together to make Joss will be mixed in a little pot thing. Pot, <laughs> that's what I'm going with. And then um, we sprinkle that so we can have these here. So how's it going, Andrea? Yep. All right, we've got to get... So normally I would have my four minis on one cable tie. I'm not quite sure what happened here, but they're on four. So, because I want some minis, because that's, at the end of the day, at least one of these skeins of the other colours, this is the only batch of minis we've got left. We're down to a single cone of yarn, you guys. Kim Scullin's in the house. Hi, Kim. And then just two more. So what we want is we want, it's low immersion dyeing. So what I'm going to do is now that I've got all the yarn in, I like it to be all th the same to fill up the pan like spaghettis. Now we like low immersion dyeing, but we do need some immersion. So I might need just a smidge more water. I think these minis ate more water than the big ones normally do, which is weird, right? It's still 100 grams. We'll get this one in because we're going to do these ones all together because we're doing them all with Essence of Joss, which as a, it sounds creepy. Now that I've said it out loud, that one sounds creepy. I'm sorry, Joss. I hope you're not creeped out. I made this colorway for Joss um, when I realized how much she loves a nice pink. And so I wanted something, you know, Joss does so much for us here at Fiberific. Um, if you've been, guys been following the Joe Mackey um, Instagram feed, she's basically put together my blanket for me because I ran out of time. So she finished crocheting off all the squares because they weren't finished, as well as she's um, joined it all together, done the borders. I'm going to need a dash more water in all these. So Andrea's just getting us just, a, it's just not quite enough water just to keep the yarn safe in the pans. I don't like too much, but just a smidge more is what we need in here. So what's going on in the chat while we do this? Bob Wilson's in the house, sneaks in and hides up back. Good, good job, good job. You know, we saw you. <laughs> Essence of Joss sounds like something out of the Dark Crystal. It does. It does. Oh, and there's a new Dark Crystal movie coming. 
Is it a movie or a series? I don't care. I'm watching it. I'm going to watch it. Jo can't answer. She's been turned into powdered dye. That's exactly right. If you um, come and help me out, eventually we end up just, you know, contacting Gum Blossom Yarns, learning her secret freeze drying method and make you into dye. No, we don't. Uh, <laughs> um, so, <laughs> so if I'm missing the chat, I'm sorry, guys. I just need just a little bit in each one. Yeah, it's just a little smidge. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Woohoo! Go Chantel with the dyeing and the no gloves on. Well, yeah, I'm not going to fix it. I don't like wearing gloves. You guys have all seen the problem I have with gloves. I've got teeny tiny hands and I end up with big glove fingers. So I c I've got no control when I wear gloves. So I just have to suck it up and get dye on me. So sleeves up. Um, lots of people in the chat chatting with Claire. It's so good to see you in here, Claire, honestly. It's so good. Um, Rebecca Nelson is going to go and hide in the corner tonight. I'm not sure what that's about. Um, you know how we joke about having people's DNA. Yeah, yeah, we joke about that all the time. Thunder Above Creations. This is Helen. Hey, Helen. Okay, so I've got, I've got my special mask, guys. I hope you can hear me through it, but with all the breathing difficulties I've been having, I'm not exacerbating it by sprinkling dye without a mask. Put the mask on the right way up. I lost my other one. I think it's in the house somewhere. So let me know if you can still hear me through the mask. Um, we just want a little, this stuff's like sand, this particular blend. All right. Oh, too high. Some of the dyes I've noticed are definitely finer than others. And so some of them lend themselves better to this process. This one does not. It basically goes straight through the strainer. Okay, we need a bit more. Oh, I think that's all we've got. Okay. <laughs> we got a bit of a wash over of the pink under this one from the other one when I did it too high up. Because we have a bit of a breeze here today as well, which is making life fun. Good day for speckling. Not. Um, they're a bit opposite, but that's okay. Oops. Oops. I just want a little smidge more just there. All right, what do you think, Andrea? Beautiful. Even enough? This one's definitely got more, hasn't yeah. it? We've got some heat happening under these guys now. I can see it. There we go. That's all good. All right, let's get our tin foil. Our very special tools that we have here at Fiberific. Because I see, I already have some of this done, so I just needed a bit more done of this one. So, who was it? Someone was telling me that they wanted some of this. Um, and I was like, oh no, what I've got for Bendigo. But this is my way of testing to double check I can do it again. I think I'll be able to do it again. It's not a tricky one. Hot Joss. Yeah, I'm not quite, I think it's, it's, it's fairly similar to real life as what we're seeing in the camera. Hey. Maybe that pause thing only works for a limited amount of time. Yeah, it does. Because the other night, I realised I'd accidentally turned one of these cookers up to like eight. 
It only been for a second or two before I realised it because they make different noise when they're that hot. All right, so if I hold this up, will you want to bring one of those over? Let's watch out for the microphone cord there. I'll bring it in a bit. Here you go. We're switching them in and out today, people. Yeah, there's lots of beeping going. Lots of beeping. Here we go. Next one's coming. Here you go. Don't put your hands on the bottom, Andrea. Use the handle. But they're not the hot. Oh. I had a heart attack thinking Andrea's going to burn her hands <laughs> off. It's like Andrea's going to have smoked hams. The answer is no. Get those up. Get that one up to two. Smoked hams on her hands. Turns out the answer is no. Kylie's in the chat. Go the foil. That was Kylie's suggestion. I'm like, I don't have lids for these ones. What can I do? Oh. She's like, use foil. I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh. Um, <laughs> um, where are we? What was a slow, hard slog for a while? It did. It's so beautiful and lovely. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Is Bendigo next week? Yes, it is. Bendigo Sheep and Wool Show is next weekend. So not this weekend coming. The weekend after, I leave here on Tuesday morning at some ridiculous time, like 5.30 or something stupid. I don't know why I do that. I just do. Uh, I get to, uh, what happens is I can't sleep. So what's the point of not sleeping, sitting at home, drinking coffee when I could be not sleeping in the car, getting halfway there? So um, <laughs> Odd But Nice's cats would like to get involved with her new yarn collection, but she has put a stop to that. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, so, speaking of, game, speaking of Gamer Widows, I've spotted her name in the chat. We're going to be starting on our next colour shortly. We're just letting these heat up for a second. But Gamer Widows and I have been having these conversations because I'm not sure if you guys follow on my Instagram because if you don't, you really should. Um, I've showed these gorgeous badges that I've been making, which this camera is not going to pick up. Hello, because they're too pale. Anyway, big badges. Hi, my name is, leave room for your name, I'm a Fibrifian. And I wanted to have these ready for Bendigo. So I bought a badge machine, it didn't work, tried to fix the badge machine, it kind of worked long enough for me to make seven. I have seven. So what I've done is the guys over at Badge Minute, um, which is an Australian badge machine company, um, who only do badge machines, my other one did not come from a company like that, um, these guys are shipping me a machine. I only organised it last night. It is already in the truck today. Fingers are crossed it comes before Monday. Now, if it comes before Monday or on Monday even, I can get some more badges made. If not, it's going to be after Bendigo, which I'm just a bit sad. So, but otherwise me, Andrea and Kim are going to wear one at Bendigo because we are special. <laughs> Team Fibrific. Wood, wood. <laughs> I'd put nice once one. Name badges, that's exactly right. Kim's going to draw a spanner on her name badge. Why not? <laughs> okay. Okay. So, yeah, so we're just waiting on the new badge machine to arrive. I'm not sure how different it will be than the one that I had. Um, the big bonus would be if it worked. So, you know, let's – fingers across. The company I was dealing with, they've been really good about the return – I've got a, a slip that I have to just send it back and they'll refund my money. It's not an issue. It's just it's just a problem that I wanted them for Bendigo and I wanted them now and, of course, I've left it to the last minute because that's what I do. Because um, what it was is I wanted to make sure I had everything else going tickety-boo before I worried about the next thing. And then now I'm like, no, no, I really want these so much. So, yeah. Um Need one to put on my bag. Everybody needs one. Fingers across. Do you have all the printouts ready? It's just the making part that needs done. Yes, absolutely. Um, I even got them professionally printed so that, that we weren't, you know, dealing with my printers. Um, so I went and got them printed. I cut them all out and then they failed. So, yeah. Um, 
Kathleen Champ is I have to represent here in Northern Cali. We're gonna wait, we're gonna make them available. They're not gonna be only for Bendigo. They're gonna be on the website afterwards. I'm thinking of the princely sum of around two or three dollars. I've got to double check the pricing on the new. I worked out the two dollar on this company's pricing. The new company is a bit dearer, um, so I have to work it out on the new company pricing. But it's not gonna be expensive. It's basically covering the cost. Um, Many chats trying to work out what was wrong, Gamer Widows, many chats. And what was wrong is it was just a dud. It was just a dud. I'm devastated. Good morning, Black Pearl Knits. You made it. Should we get the next batch in, Andrea? So um, can we please have six Pegasus in batches of two, please? And we'll get those in. Um, Oh, yeah, absolutely. How did your interview go, Black Pearl Knits? So, you know, only if you want to share in the chat. Otherwise, DM me later because I really want to know. Um, so we're going to get some more speckling happening. These ones are going to be Essence of Tiff. This is, I believe, I could be wrong, this is Claire, Bob Wilson 123's favourite colour from Fibrific, um, is Tiff. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous turquoise blue with um, some lovely bright undertones and some just, it's just stunning. I can't, I can't say how much I love this colour. I call it Tiff because it does remind me of the Tiffany blue of the shop with, you know, Tiffany. Tiffany's. It reminds me of Tiffany's blue, okay? That's why I called it Tiff. Um, it's not exactly the same because those guys, they copyright hard. They have their colour, their Pantone colour is copyrighted, believe it or not. So it's not identical. Theirs is a tad greener, which, you know, I made sure mine wasn't. <laughs> Oops, I've been messing with Kim's brain there, making that not straight. <laughs> I'm very proud of you for not mentioning it, Kim. I'm very proud. So we're going to do six of these. You're only going to be able to see t the two trays, but I do have a third tray here. I just couldn't get the camera to play nice. We're going to need a bit more water in here too. Make them our spaghetti noodles, spread it out as much as possible. Double check they've got heat, unlike last time. Um, beautiful blue, I can say that with certainty now. Absolutely. You can understand the problem I have with that, hey. Like trying to show you guys those colours. Ooh, some of that pink hit this water. We might have to hold this one off and make it something pink toned. Do you want to do the, um, was that the blend that we're going to go for? No. We're just going straight for the tiff. Um, oops. So, yeah. So, you guys saw that before when we had a bit of breeze, when I was doing that pink, it actually blew into this pan a little and I couldn't see it till I added the yarn. But we now have a bit of a pink undertone on some of this yarn. I'm tossing up whether or not we leave our pink undertone and do the tiff over the top or whether or not we don't do that and do something else. Um, yeah, I'm going to need to, uh, yeah, just a little smidge. Thank you. So I'm not quite sure what to do about this one. I'm a little perplexed because we've already done all the pink ones that I wanted to do for today. What do you think? Could we hide it under the violet? Yeah, actually, that's a brilliant idea. Yeah, yeah. 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 Andrew's come to the save the day. Bit of a pink undertone won't hurt on the violetish speckles. It'd make them a bit different. I'm, oh, I can't oh. Really see it. Yeah, I know, but I can see it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew sees my like crazy like. See, it's all, yeah. and it's all on the bottom. Okay. Uh, okay. So I'm thinking we're going to save that and just do something one of a kind with yep. that. All right. We'll move that over Let to the, the audience choose. Yeah, well, we're going to do that one as a special. We'll do the tiff yep. first. We'll get those out of the way. So we'll have four tiff speckles. Okay. 
So do you want to pass me down the TIFF mix? Um, the recipe is just here. So you can find okay. what you yep. need from that one. Okay. So. Yep. Um, so Andrew is going to make up the TIFF mix while I stand here and chat because I wasn't that organised. I used TIFF in my Abbey Shaw. Yes, you did, Bob Wilson. Black Pearl Knit says she's been missing our mornings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop these temperatures down a dash. And this one, I'm just going to turn off for a second. I'm going to move it over so you can see it because you can't see what the problem is. Um, you may not be able to see it, but there's all hues of pink all through. There was just the barest, merest bit of the pink just blown across when I was speckling into that pan. So, but um, that's all right. I can, oh, yeah, you, mask time. Mask it's mask time because we don't want to die. Um, can never have enough pink, Joss says. <laughs> and that is why we named a pink colourway after Joss, my friends. That's exactly why. Well, I might leave that pan just like that, just just for Kim. <laughs> Alrighty, we have our mix, and over we go. See how with this one, you can actually control them more because it's just that it's got some thicker bits. Whereas the other one's just so fine, it's like sand, it just pours straight through. Do we need a, a little. Just a little smidgy more, hang on. I just blew straight into the other pan. <laughs> A comedy of errors here. Welcome to Fiberific where nothing goes as planned. There we go. It looks a lot now, but considering we're only doing this on one side, we do get the break on the other. Okay. And look at this. We, the, I think this is just going to be a mishmash pan. We're just going to leave it there. Because I'm not sure if you can see the blue speckled across onto the pink. You can't see it. But there is definite blue speckles on it. This is a safety pan. It's catching all the dye. I'm going to move my water bottle too, just in case. <laughs> oh, man. It's going up there. Where it's safe, where it's safe. I th I, though Joss is another lovely colour I can enjoy in my hands. Yeah, that's right. Oh, thank you. We're just running around covering all the uncoloured yarn now because the wind is against us on this speckling day. Fruit tingle colourway. Hey, it may well end up being exactly what it's going to be. Yep. It'll be subtle. <laughs> It'll be very subtle, let me tell you. But uh, unless at the end we just go... <laughs> all over it. So um, Andrea is here with the foil. I'm just letting it get just a dash more heat where I can watch it. Let's pull it forward. Just let them have, get them on some heat. Why did you beep at me? I did nothing to you. So we're getting through some colours here, guys. These are just some basic essence ofs as you can see i reuse my foil as much as i can because i'm a cheapskate also i've got no more foil <laughs> i think there's a little bit left on the roll i really should have gone to coles at least andrea didn't go to costco yesterday which was her plan family, watching. well andrea's family i now don't have foil to do my job because you guys didn't want to go to costco that's all i'm saying um Commercial dyes turn those skeins into black. 
Yeah, that's boring though, right? Let's make it fun. But I can understand why they would, for sure, because you can't afford to waste a skein. Sorry, I bumped the camera there, guys. Um, because, you know, the reality is the second you start wasting skeins or making it like, yeah, I can't use that one for whatever reason. Like if it's got knots or something, that's one thing, like a lot of knots. But if it's just a, a dye mishap, you've got to just over dye it somehow because you can't afford to just not – like, I mean, I've got enough skeins here. Sorry, I'm just off camera a bit. Um, I've got enough skeins here because, uh, you know, I didn't want to pass it on because I wasn't happy with the dye, but I really should have just over dyed it. The whoopsie pan from Pippin. We're, I'm calling this colour, these two skeins here. They are going to be whoopsie. <laughs> um, plus, you didn't answer in time to get you anything from Ikea either. That is true. She didn't. Sorry. Worst assistant oh. ever. I'm not going to over dye this. I'm going to make it a whoopsie speckle. This is just a bit of fun. It's just two skeins. It's nothing like, you know, devastatings. But what I'm thinking is we've got one more pan there to do, plus our whoopsie. Um, <laughs> we're nearly out of pans already, guys. And because it comes to a point where these just need to sit. Um, let's start by moving one. I was having a hissy fit. Ah, you took the thing off. Oh, it's not safe. These are supposed to be hotter, okay? Can Ow, use oh the my handles. Oh, my use God. The handles. Use the handles. Andrea. Buddy. Oh, dear. Um... Black Pearl Knits is asking – see, Black Pearl Knits would be a good assistant. She's asking if I need anything from Ikea because she's going past today. <laughs> I don't, but thank you for asking. Um, back to pot dyeing, Kim says. Well, I mean, that would be a good idea, Kim, except we don't have any – Stephanie Shelton is live on Crochet O'Clock. I'm going to be talking to her about that. How dare she? How dare she go live at the same time? Ugh, Stephanie. She's over at um, – at, um, yeah, she's doing um, one of the big stitching trade shows. It's going to be fantastic. It's her first one. Um, did you see that Aldi have the cookers on special again? I did, but in saying that, I prefer to keep all my cookers the same brand so that I can think of temperature that way. And then you've got a uniform shape, a uniform size, all that sort of thing. Um, Bob Wilson says she needs to do housework. I'll still have you playing, but I won't be commenting. Well, I suppose it's better than nothing. Housework. I know. Housework. Okay, so if I lift this one off, actually, you come lift this one off, okay. and I'll slide this one over, and they can just swap spots. Okay. We'll just play Lego. Beer, beer, beer. See, that one didn't complain when we took it. That one's actually, that must be a safety problem if it didn't complain. It's like, oh, yeah, no, there's still totally a pan on here. I'm going to heat away, baby, heat away. All right, so this is our whoopsie pan. Um, we've got our whoopsie pan, and we're going to do another two. Okay. So um, let's do two DK, okay. just for something different. So we've got some Andromeda soaking as well. I've got this lined up specifically for Kim because I know how much she loves it when things are off centre. Um, you, you, hang on. You can whoopsie more tiff all over that and I'll take it. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> uh, and that is a bit of an in-joke because the other day I did a whoopsie with an entire, are they the eight-ounce tubs of dye onto the ground? Let's just say my ground here under us now has a towel on it because there's a dash too much chestnut hanging around to be comfortable, all right? Whoopsie! So should we do these DK? What colour should we do these? Should we do them tiff? Or should we do them something else? We don't have any DK speckles of anything. No, we don't. We could go crazy with that. We could totally go crazy with that. Yeah. Did you want to do your um, the have a party blend on that one? 
No, we might go tiff on that tiff one. We'll, we'll do, I want to do have a party on socks. Okay. Right. Yeah. We have an idea for have a party, which is where I mix the colours that I use to make um, slimer, tiff and dandelion in a little in the little bowl and then sprinkle them. So it's whoopsies kind of like what I was going to do except with different colours. It's not the colours I want. Um, crochet, crochet Guild, I can't even say crochet, Crochet Guild of America. Stephanie Lambry wants purple. Oh, we're going to be doing an entire batch of um, colours in the purple once we've got some more pans free. So you want to oh, mix? thank you. Yes, the tiff mix. Yeah. And just, Andrea's over here telling me, put your mask on. And I'm like, what, what? And she's, I'm like, oh, okay. Tell me off her hot handles. I'm going to tell you off the mask. That's fair enough. Yeah. All right. I'm going to accidentally... Whoopsie, a bit more tiff onto that. Make it look a dash more intentional. Totally intentional. Um, just doing little light sprinklings. There's definitely a blue undertone on that though. Come on, there we go. I just have to make sure my little thing is not too high up in the air so it doesn't just go everywhere. Even though I want it to go everywhere, I don't want it to go outside of the pan. You used all that one. Diamonds Golf! Beep, 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 beep. That tiff blue, I know. Oh, it's it's a thing. It's a thing I have. I've got a thing about this blue. I'm digging those specials from Kathleen. Those speckles again with the speaking and me not in words, you know, stuff. How are they going? Are they warming up? Yeah. All right. Um, oh, that one's, that we might turn that one down. It's quite hot. It's hot. Power off. I can just have a, a sizzle, sizzle. Um, Andrea, I need, I need some foil, pretty please, with Krispies. Um, what do you think we should get some Slimer on top of this one, just for a bit of fun? Well, that's yeah? Yeah. There's more foil in the bucket. Okay, I thought you used it all. No? So we'll get the tiff covered. And then we'll add some more speckles to the um, to that one. Oh, that was dumb. I just put my hand on the speckle to test if the yarn was warm. I don't recommend that. Don't do that. If you're watching at home, don't do that. You just end up with a blue hand. Oh, I think I see what part of the problem is here. Can I grab a bit more water? This one just doesn't have enough water in it. It's got a dash, but just not quite enough. And I've got to be careful putting it in that it doesn't... I don't want it to touch any dye because I don't want it to bleed the speckles. There we go. You can see some steam action happening now. Yeah, we're going to have some blue spots on that one rather than just speckles, but that's okay because it's tiff and tiff is sweet. Alrighty. So Slimer. I've got to wash my hands. I'm just got to duck down to my special hand washing bucket. The top. Left. Left, 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 down, left. Left where my finger's pointing. Ah, yep, sorry. <laughs> left where my finger's pointing. Sorry. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's happening in the chat while well, Andrea organises that? Um, 
DK, Tiff, Andes, and yes, Slimer. Yeah, we're going to add a bit of Slimer into this one. Um, my daughter was having that problem with speckling the other night. I told her English was kicking her butt. Yeah, yeah, speaking is not the best. Um, there's strong colour, by the way. The faintly done is... Um, I missed it. There's... Like when I asked I could do a bit ago, I can't wait to see it done. Yeah. Violet dish would make it fruit tingle. It would. Oh, yeah, I'm up for a cuppa. Thank you. Tea, white, no sugar. Um, I think I thought there was foil in the pan, but I think it's just a gap. Yeah, there's a gap. Um, lots of people. Uh, what is Slimer? Slimer is um, a really bright green colourway that I have. Think Slimer from the Ghostbuster movies. Um, Andrea is ready for me. Hang on. I mean, not that we're worried that much. Jeez. <laughs> I don't want too much. There we go. Alrighty. I think that's enough. Bright enough for you? <laughs> so I'm sorry the subtle speckles are now gone. <laughs> we killed them with Slimer. Slimer made them dead. Um, uh, where are we? It's a bit late here for tea. It's 1.40 a.m. But I'm never one to say no. See, I'm the same as every kitten. It could be it could be 2 o'clock in the morning. We're like, I think I'll have a cup of tea. <laughs> tea doesn't keep me awake. Coffee can do sometimes, but not often. Whoa, cool, yes, Slimer, yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, I need some more foil. Getting some heat under these guys. So that's good. Oh, thank you, Andrea. No worries. Did you rip one? Oh my God, what the hell? I didn't do that. Yeah, <laughs> it may have been me. Also, this one's got a big grip in it too, but I'm working with it. Because we're on foil rations here, people. Foil rations, because Andrea didn't go and get me more. Thanks, Grace. Yeah, Grace. Grace, remember how we were friends? It's ruined. Friendship over. Friendship terminated. And that's how real life works, Grace. You piss someone off, oh, upset someone once, friendship's done. <laughs> that's going to look great. I think it's going to look great too. Don't worry, Grace, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Nothing subtle about that Slimer. No. No, no. Slimer, definitely not subtle. Definitely not subtle. Okay, now this is the, this is where we come a cropper. Cause I'm a cheapskate. I didn't go and buy myself more pans. Uh oh, Grace is messaging me privately. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, that was Grace's fault. Um. So um. We have to let these cook. They need to stay on the on the heat a bit longer. So I'm gonna go, jump us up to. This one here. Andrea, say hi. hi. Sorry, I didn't warn Andrea. It's a wide <laughs> shot. It's a wide shot. Um, so have, if you've got any questions, throw them at me. I've got time to read through the chat now and check them. So Andrea's going to go skein. Um, Kathleen says, like avocado. It's not, It's not. It looks darker now, but once those colours start spreading and hitting the dye, it goes like bright fluoro green. Um, agave is probably more like avocado, which if we've got time between now and Bendigo, I'm going to try and get an agave speckle as well, but it's not on today's list. Um, you could have gotten pans from Ikea yesterday if you knew someone who was there. That's a very good point. Andrea's not here. Um, yep. I can tell she's commenting now. <laughs> 
Um, shoot, I miss so much Freaky Geek. Freaky Geek, you sort of have and you sort of haven't. We've done six pans. I think we've got, what, three different colours, four different colours. So, yeah, I suppose you did. You missed a lot. Um, agave, I love that green also. Yeah, agave is really nice green. And there's a funny story about agave. Some of you may have already heard it. Is um, I, Every now and again, I'll have a play around to make a new colour. And I kind of want all my colours to tonally match each other so that you can do things like make a blanket or what have you and you've got a good selection of colours. Now, some, not all of them work. There's a couple of colours that work with a few colours and not all the colours, but most of them all blend in together nicely. And so um, I, I, I try very hard to make sure that that they do blend nicely together. And so I was trying to come up with a nice green that would work with a lot of a lot of the colours that I have. And I wanted something with a bit of like oomph. I already had Slimer, so I wanted something with a different colour profile. Um, and um, we made agave. And Andrew and I both looked at it in the pot and went, that's not what we want. So we've left it, hung it to dry and got on and we created Poison Ivy, which we love, right? It's a good bright... Like, you know, it's very, very, very vibrant green, which is what we were aiming for that day. Now, fast forward a couple of days and I'm twisting up all the yarn. So I was twisting up the agave and every time I picked up the agave, I had to look at it again because I realised I actually really like this and I put it aside and keep working. And then, I, and then I was like, I really like this. I really like it a lot. So it ended up in the fold as well. So we ended up with two new greens. Um... Are those of us who can't go to Bendigo going to get updates? Um, this is the deal with Bendigo. So I try to do some live streams and some updating and run around to different stores and have a look. Uh, the problem is I can't guarantee it. Just because it depends on how busy our stall is, do I need to be there? I've got both Andrea and Kim who can help, um, whereas normally I only have one helper, I'm going to have two. Um, so I may be able to... Um, but the stall's been getting busier and busier, so we'll see how it goes. Worst case scenario is Sunday afternoon there'll be a live stream. Um, it's always a bit quiet in the Sunday afternoon, so I can run around a little bit then. I'm hoping to do a bit more this year um, and have a few extra videos. They'll only be short. They'll only be like sort of five, ten-minute jobs just because I can only get away from the stall in short bursts. But I will totally, totally try and um, get in some more of those sort of live streams, visit other stalls, things like that. So I'm going to have a talk to a few people in my shed about having some time seeing if they even want to come on camera and talk about their product for a minute. Um, I can't imagine them saying no, but some people don't like being on camera and so there's always that issue. It took me a long time feeling comfortable being on camera. Um, where are your lids? These pans, this particular pan shape doesn't have a lid. Um, I can't get one. So my um, Bay Marie pans have lids, but they are also a dash big for my cookers. So we sh we have to turn them sideways and have them on two cookers at a time. Um, uh, where is my... Um, Game Widow says that she's going to be there Friday. That's awesome. Um, Kim says it also depends on how useful we are at selling her stuff. I wasn't going to say it, Kim, but, you know, it does come down to that. Because <laughs> sometimes people have questions, and I know you guys can't answer all the fibre questions. You're totally capable of yarn and needles and things like that, but fibre's not your fun zone. Um, Kim says, we can live stream us searching for pudding balls. Because that's another option. If you guys are up for it, I can also give my phone to Kim and Andrea and when they're off adventuring for their first time at the Bendigo Sheep and Wool Show, if they want to do some little live streams, I'm more than happy for them to totally do that as well. If I can't get away, maybe they can. Um, where are we? That's right. Oh, but Nice has popped in some photos of her beautiful kit that she received for her blanket kit. Um, I've got, I, I actually never got the listing up on the website for the blanket kit because Bendigo came a bit close. But after Bendigo or at Bendigo, you'll be able to pre-order the kits um, for the whole blanket and I'll have the blanket up on the wall for display because Joss has finished it, oh my God. Um, and then we'll have the blanket kits going out after Bendigo. Um, Gamer Widow says, oh, I forgot about the pudding being there. These things are amazing, honestly, the pudding balls. Oh. 
there's an Australian company that makes beautiful big puddings and they come to Bendigo Sheep and Wool Show, but they also sell these jars of these big round, that I would say they were two inch round, maybe three inch round, probably two inch round balls of pudding. And they're actually dipped in chocolate as well. And they are just perfect to have with coffee or just eat and eat. And they're like amazing types of puddings. Um, Odd But Nice is loving my hair. Oh, thank you, Odd But Nice. It's very purple at the moment. Um, they are like protein balls, but they're puddings, sort of. They're a bit bigger than protein balls. Um, so, yeah, so pudding, yeah, so pudding balls, um, I, I don't know... I don't know what the name of the business is off the top of my head. I'll have to find out. I've got a jar inside that I reuse because they come in a beautiful glass jar. I'm just not sure if I took the label off it. I'll have to have a look. Um, I will have to go and have a look at the blanket kit. Are there pics of the finished blanket or are you keeping it till after the yarn show? Um, I don't have any pics of the finished blanket yet because I don't have the blanket yet. If you go and look at J-O-M-A-K-I, Joe Mackey, that's Joss on Instagram, She's been posting some amazing photos of her process of finishing it off for me and getting it all done. And um, and so, yeah, it's uh, she sent me the measurements as well. So it comes out a dash smaller than the other one because we're using a four-ply instead of five-ply yarn. Um, and so, yeah, so it is just um, – it's just beautiful. But I haven't got the kits online yet. So it's only been those, those of you that ordered directly through the live stream um, and scored your um, early release bonus pricing that have theirs yet. Um, Allegra says it's PUD for all seasons, P-U-D, PUD. Um, Allegra and Penelope are the ones that put me onto pudding balls, so th my addiction is their fault. Um, so, yeah. Oh, thank you, Kim. Kim's tossed it in a link for Joss's Instagram feed. Um, I'd but nice says, yes, yeah, or Joss's cat loving on the blanket. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I'm just going to have a sip of water here. Andrew is messaging somebody. I totally need to take her phone. Oh, no, they're normally in a um, – there's a food section and they're normally in a market thing outside. So, yeah, so we've got these guys. They do – like I found, like for me, I'm so used to doing the semi-solids where you get them into the pot, you get it all mixed, put on a 30-minute timer, double-check it, and they're done. Right, like a couple of colours take longer, like the the reds and the blacks, and and like the dark blues, they t they all take a bit longer. And um and so, but most of my colours um, exhaust totally within about half an hour ish. Um, obviously it depends on the day. Something beeped. Oh, my skeiner beeped because Andrea's inside making more skeins. She was complaining yesterday. Stop using all the skeins. Um, oh, thank you, Joss. Joss popped in how big it was. It's 111 centimetres by 150. So it's, it's not quite um, bed size, but it's pretty big. Um, then there's the licorice lady at Bendigo too. Oh, yes. Shush. Stop telling me about these evil, evil things. Um, um, I'm sure we can hook you up. Yeah. Uh, yes, we can totally bring you back some pud balls, Allegra. Don't, yeah, definitely, definitely. You started this, and now it is your thing. Um, I just realised I've got the wrong. I don't want that one on. Oh, hang on. No, I do want that one. I, that that ticker is wrong, and I'm, you know, that's the wrong ticker for today. And I can't kill the ticker while I'm live. Well, I can, but it's anyway. It's a drama. I don't want to deal with drama. Um. Juanita Montgomery says, hi, I've been gone for a while, but just wanted to say hi, I'm back. Hi, Juanita. Um, Kim says she's going to spend a whole day looking for food. Um, I'm more than okay with it. Excellent. That's great, Allegra. Um, yeah, so there's some great food options at Bendigo, and I hear it's getting better and better each year. The first year I went down, it was a bit like, oh, my God, where am I going to go to eat? Because there was like five or six food places. The lines were ridiculous. I didn't have assistance, so I had a steward on my stall, so I didn't eat is what happened. And then over the years, they built up their food area up the top end and I'm down the bottom, so it was still a case of even though um, I had um, our Emma there to help, it was still a case of I don't want to be away for too long and these lines are still crazy. So, again, 
I still wouldn't eat. We'd bring muesli bars and nibbles and snacks and stuff, but no proper lunch. And then the potato man moved in. And the potato man is really close. <laughs> and he makes beautiful baked potatoes with... Um, they all have the same thing on them. You can't choose anything. It is, um, it is a baked potato with um, coleslaw and sour cream and cheese. I mean, really, and a fork. And it's like this. It's this. It's huge. It's like, yeah, it's like burger size box. Anyway, unbelievable. So now I get one of those like every day at Bendigo. Carve me up, baby. Carb and dairy. Good for my bones. Um, <laughs> when we have to roll out of the shed after eating too many pudding balls. I think pudding balls are one of those things that's so rich that you can't actually overeat them because you'll be sick first. Um, the pudding guy, the potato guy's moved. Wait, what now? I hope not. Uh, baked potato is the best thing on a cold day. It is. It's so good. It's so good. And it's hot. It's so hot. Um, so yeah, totally, totally looking forward to, you know, hitting up the potato man for lunch. Um, now the, 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 the amusing thing that's happened historically at Bendigo is that I would normally share a house with these, um, there were four of us, but two of the ladies were vegetarian. So we would consciously make an effort to not eat any meat in the house. So Emma and I would sneak off during the day, like trying to find food with a face what was the other thing we used to say? Food with a mummy. We'd want, we'd want, I want food that had a mummy. Um, so <laughs> Andrea's just walked out in time for that. <laughs> so we would we'd sneak off through the day. And we still ended up having Potato Man, which is basically vegetarian anyway. So, yeah. Donna Sharp says, no coleslaw on my potatoes. Ooh, oh, Donna, you don't know what you're missing, honestly. It's kind of, it's not just, because I'm not a big coleslaw fan. And so I, I'm, I'm not. I just I don't enjoy like it on, as a side. But with how it's mixed in with all the other stuff, it's just perfect. It just gives it that little zing because you know how coleslaw gives it that little because the cabbage it just got that little zing, so it's good. The lamb burgers, absolutely the lamb burgers. I can't wait to try one of those. <laughs> <laughs> and and the pulled lamb rolls and you know it's a sheep show, man. There's everything sheep. Even sheep food. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so I'm really excited, as you can tell, getting ready for Bendigo. These are nearly... Oops. We just have to wait on the yarn, guys. Just the speckles take so much longer and we are out of pans. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. People make the slaw different. They do. Different people make the slaw differently. I agree with you totally. Um, cabbage makes me toot. Did you write that just so I'd say that out loud? Because I did. <laughs> um, I don't think there's enough on there. Like, because it's a whole, like, it's, it's, there's a bit there, but there's not enough there. I mean, I suppose it depends on the individual, doesn't it? It might. It doesn't for me. I know more than what I normally do anyway. Sorry, Andrea. Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> Kim's not sure if she loves blinglets as much as she used to. <laughs> Poor Kim. Kim. Oh my gosh. We, we, immersion therapy. <laughs> immersion therapy worked. Kim has been a train, an absolute train. So you guys who watch regularly know my breathing's been an issue and it has been for a few months. My asthma's playing up something fierce. I'm on new medication. It's not working great. So I'm like constantly short of breath. Um, and when I make blinglets, I wear a full respirator breathing mask because of the kind of glue that it is. It, I did it once without wearing I was very high. Uh, and, uh, and it wasn't the good kind of high. Oh, no. It was the I feel sick kind of job. Anyway, so I, um, I normally wear this respirator mask if I'm making any more than a few packs. The problem being that because my lungs are so weak at the moment, I couldn't actually suck in a breath through the respirator mask because it's a bit a bit more work to get air through in the mask. And so um, it meant no blinglets and I was nearly out of blinglets and they're a big thing. They're fun and they're awesome and it's been something I'm, I held on to for like, oh, no one else is making these. These are mine. I make these. And it was really, 
it was really um, hard, it was so hard for me to just go, I can't make them and I don't want to stop having them. And Kim put her hand up, which I'm sure she'll never ever do again, to say she'll make the blinglets for Bendigo this year. So she made blinglets for Redlands and Bendigo and she has made so many blinglets, guys. We have basically all the sizes and all the colours just about and I totally understand why she's over blinglets because I would be too if I'd made that many. Um, so, yeah. Um, where are we? It's bad year for asthma. Mine's been really bad from Gaming Widows. Yeah, I've been hearing it from like my doctor and a few other health professionals that I've been seeing about it. And they said that um, it's been just, there's been something in the air, which is why the flu season's been so bad. We've had, um, it was, I think it was South Australia have actually had more deaths from flu than they have from, had from car accidents this year so far. Um, it's just been a really, really hard year. The air feels weird to me, but I'm particularly sensitive to air. Um, I love cabbage, though it's boiled cabbage. Uh, I'm not a big fan of boiled cabbage. I don't mind a bit of sauerkraut, honestly, a bit of pickled cabbage, but the boiled cabbage, um, it's not my favourite. Um, Sally's back. Dizzy's online because it's school holidays. Hey, Dizzy. Um, we've just got these pans. They're just, I mean, we just have to let them go, really. Is I can't speed them up without ruining anything, so I'm not going to uh, wreck it. Sally says, yeah, it's been a bad flu season. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm in Queensland and it's a bad flu season for us up here. We had a really bad um, pre-flu season, which was just a concern for all the doctors. And now there's discussion that one of the, um, one of the strains of flu is actually not a, is actually immune to the different strains. I think there's three or four different strains in the flu shot. So, yeah. Do you have a nebulizer? Yes, I do. Um, Maddie wants Maccas for lunch for his birthday. Well, then Maddie should get Maccas for his lunch. It's his birthday, dude. It's like, what does he eat? Like a cheeseburger? He's tiny. Um, Kim, make sure you have your inhaler. I'll check. Oh, I've got five um, of straight Ventolin and two of the other one just as spares. I have them in my handbag, in my in my bag that I carry all the coins and stuff in for what, like, don't worry, I've got inhalers everywhere. Um, Mel says, I read that the flu shot is only 40% effective. Yeah, um, and like, it's one of those things where if, if you're trying to make yourself safe from, oh, I'm thinking why isn't that one warmed up, it's because it turned itself off, good job. Um, so one of the um, the problems with the flu shot that I've been reading, like I'm not a doctor, guys, so um, is that a lot of people are saying it's not effective, so what's the point? But the point is it's effective enough to reduce what's going to happen if you get the flu. And so if you're susceptible to the flu, you should still go and get your flu shot. Like here everyone's telling us, the doctors are saying, if you're in those age brackets, especially if you're older, we had an entire nursing home shut down because there's a flu epidemic going through it and people are dying. So I'm not going to not get an injection because it's only 40% effective. 40% is better than zero. So um, asthma-wise, do you want to borrow my travel nebulizer for Bendigo? I have an extra. Um, I appreciate that, but I'm good. Thank you. Um, yeah, that's right, Kim. Um, bags, drawers, car, pockets, all have a, yeah, the glove box in the car, the centre console in the car. <laughs> uh, like, yeah, there's inhalers everywhere. Um, and, like, for the most part, I just stick to my three doses a day um, and every now and again I need an extra. So, you know, and I'm, not the, I'm not the worst off by any means. I'm just trying to, you know, power and it's hard to power when your lungs are going, let's lay down. <laughs> So, you know, I know there's people often much worse condition than I am for sure. Like, they're, they're bedridden because they can't move and they're basically in an air mask um, or oxygen mask. So I just, you know, I, I understand that I'm talking from a position of um, I'm standing and I'm working and functioning. I'm just not functioning at my best. Take some orange juice as well. Yeah, I've always, I've always got juice around. I love juice. Um 
Mel says it's really bad. My hubs got flu A and was so sick. Oh, and it's horrible to watch. It's just horrible to watch. Um... Kim says, I bought some Carmen oat bars in the car and Maddie found them, so bye-bye oat bars. Yeah, I learned that when it comes to me pre-buying for the Bendy trip, the food doesn't go in the cupboard. Um, I keep it in a shopping bag in the craft room. <laughs> Otherwise, the family goes, sweet. Um, yeah. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, Dizzy's a teacher and so she's got to be prepared for like roomfuls of sick kids because parents, I don't know about the US, you guys, but in Australia there's a lot of parents who just don't take the day off when their kids are sick. They send their kids to school sick. Daycare centres won't take sick kids. Um, so if your child's sick, you have to stay, uh, like you have to find alternative care. But schools will still take them up to a point. So if they're snotty, runny nose, all that sort of stuff, where I would keep Abby home because I don't want her sharing that or getting worse. Um, a lot of parents still send their kids because they feel like they have no choices. Um, they don't want to take the day off work for whatever reason. So um, I'm allergic to the enzymes and flu shots. This was the worst in my life than the attack of asthma ever. See, that's and that's the thing, Kathleen. If more people around you have the flu shot so you don't have to have it but you're still protected by the whole group thing, then that's better as well. So... Yeah, I'm not going to go any further down this rabbit hole. I feel like we're getting awfully close to the vaccinations topic and I don't, I don't want to go there. <laughs> like, I know what I think, but I'm not going to share that. Oh, gosh. Now, for those of you that joined in the live chat earlier and didn't hear about the drama of my badges, that was a terrible shot. I'm going to do it like that so you can't see my hideous fingernails. Hideous fingernails. Um, I have some badges. I have seven. Out of the 40 that I made, only seven are good. I thought I was all like, yay, it's working. And I got a couple that worked and then it stopped working again. So basically I bought a badge making machine. It was great for five seconds. Um, and I ended up finding out that I just have a dud. The company are taking it back. No problems, no questions asked, getting a full refund, all that sort of stuff. But now I have the problem of I want badges. And everyone I know has got little badges and I want big badges. Um, so... Yeah, it is um, definitely, yeah, my name is blank. Blank. So now I'm dealing with a company called Badger Minute in South Australia. They have been phenomenal. Put my order in last night. This morning got confirmation that they've received the order and I've already got the tracking number for that it's being shipped. Um, and I've backwards and forwards a little bit with them as well. We're really hoping I get it by Monday. Um, they said anywhere from Friday to Tuesday. Tuesday. I'm already on the road. The courier does not arrive before I get to go. But Monday, that means I've still got time because everything's ready. I just need to like... <laughs> make the badges. Everything's cut out. Um, I might need to re-trim the pictures because apparently these were 58 mil and the new ones are 57 they come with a little cutter, so I could probably just run around it and just check it off anyway. But, you know, we'll see how it goes. But everyone, I need you to fingers crossed that this parcel arrives either Friday or Monday. I can tell you right now, if it arrives tomorrow, oh, my God, social media for Fiberific is going to be all about the badges. Monday, on the other hand, I'll be packing the car and I'll be like, oh, yeah, it arrived. And, you know, hopefully Monday night I'll get a chance to sit down and make these before I leave. But anyway, I'll see them. Um, you could not have them sent to Bendigo ahead of you. Um, I, I wouldn't because if something happens um, and with the accommodation that we've got, I don't think that they would appreciate us getting posts sent to them. I don't, that's not really how it works here, is it? No. Um, so, yeah, so fingers crossed that it arrives. Um, <laughs> you can just have seven for the VIPs. <laughs> Me. Um, hang on, I missed someone's comment. I don't know if I can scroll it. Um, um, is there room enough in Inigo Montoya? If you write small, there is. There's lots of room. I can fit Chantel in with tons of room. So I'm sure you could fit Inigo Montoya. As long as you're expecting people to call you Inigo Montoya, and, and say, I didn't kill your father. 
Um, ha ha ha! I get the princess bra jokes. <laughs> um, can you put some magnets on the ones that didn't work? Um, no, because what happened, how they didn't work, is this section here didn't crimp in. So that it's not that the backs just fell off or something like that. They actually didn't crimp properly. That's the problem is the machine's only three-quarter crimping. It's missing a whole section. Um, Sandy Grog is in Cincinnati. Hi, Sandy. Um, do I need to make a mercy trip to Bendy to pick up pick up the main up and make them for you? I will let you know. There may be a bit of like, hey, would you like to come and hang out at our house, at our dining table while we madly make buttons? Um, oh, production line. Well, there's not like once you've got everything made, the only production's on the machine. So yeah, um, loving the new hair. Thank you, Dizzy. Thank you. Um, where are we? <laughs> so yeah, so you know, fingers crossed for the buttons. All right, guys. So should we have a little peek? They're ready for a peek. They're not ready, but they're ready for a peek. So let me just change this camera angle. Okay. Let's have a look here. Ready for a peek. I'm trying to make a peek without tearing the precious alpha oil. Um. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you need to, I'm just going to grab my camera and see if I can make a photo. Um, it's got, it's on its little thing, camera, switch, it's Doobie Watts, it's switch thing. Oh, there we go. There's the switch button. Oh, stop that. Stop that ridiculousness. Okay. Bam. It's like, you would take a better photo if your lens wasn't dirty. I'm sure. I'm sure it would. Um, switch back to YouTube. Thanks. Play. Um, are the pans hot yet? They are hot, but we need the steam to be hot enough to set the dye from the top. Because otherwise what happens is when you rinse them, it just runs through it. Um, and um, I learned a trick because the other day all my hands were a particular colour that I'm not mentioning because it was from Mystery Lace Club. Um, and I realised I couldn't see if the dye was coming off my hands. So I just give it a little, a little zhuzh like that. And we've still got a bit of colour. You can't see it because the spoon's blowing it out. But there's a little bit of blue and a little bit of yellow still in there. So we're going to let that go for a dash longer. But that's basically how it's looking. It's looking really good. The speckles stayed speckle sweet as bro. So, is the chicken trying to go in my house? I don't know what the deal is with the chickens today. They're in a mood. There we go. And look at the tiff. Oh, Tiff is, needs way more time. See, these just take longer. That's all. They just take longer. We need to get the heat back under. So these are the latest ones done. They're just here. So I thought I'd check. Oh, I just tore that. Hang on. I'll just give this a clean because it's got a bit of Tiff still on it. So the other Tiff pen is a lot less. It's nearly ready. There we go. Find where the camera is. But I just tore my file. Oh, and there's a bit of green dye. We don't want that accidentally falling in the Tiff pen. Ruining our essence of Tiff with Slimer. Grr. Hang on. Let me get these lids back on. All right. Stop opening them. Yeah, I know, but we wanted to have a check, you guys. We'll go back up here. Because, you know, it's got to be boring standing here listening to me talk when you came from dying. We just have to wait. We just have to wait. We have to be patient. Sometimes dying is about being patient. So I'm just going to get some more heat onto these ones. Because the other thing, it's a balancing act as well. You don't want them to get too, oh, damn it. I turned it off rather than hitting the lock. Um, you, don't, you don't want them to burn either because we were only, it's really low immersion dyeing. So you don't want them to burn. You don't want them to um, uh, undercook or, over, you know, it's, it's a balance. It's a balance. Patience, what's that? Absolutely. 
You're letting all the steam out. Yes, Kim, I know, but I'm going to put more steam back in. Goodness me. Jeez. Um, <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, you guys, I think we might leave the stream here today. Um, unless you've got any questions for me, I don't really um, have anything out. Um, your white balance is going crazy. Yeah, it keeps making me yellow. Like, ooh, jaundice, not jaundice. <laughs> it's because I've got a light that's shining down here onto the pans rather than on my face. Um, this is why I'm not invented to die day, invited to die days. Exactly. This is exactly why you're not invited to die days. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, so um, I'm just going to keep going with dying today. I've got Andrea here helping out. I'll get some photos up on the Instagram as things get ready so you can see them. But so far, these are all going to be um, for Bendigo. Um, if there's some, a particular colour you want, take a note for yourself. And then, then if you chat to me after Bendigo, depending on what it is, I can probably redo it for you. Some of these are repeatable. Um, I mean, there'll be variances, but as repeatable, repeatable as speckling can go. Um, as you can see, wind makes a difference. <laughs> So, yeah, so, um, but in saying that, I'm going to head off today, guys. I've got lots to get done, um, and I look forward to seeing those of you that can make it to Bendigo. Otherwise, those of you that can't, I'll get some live streaming happening, and I'll see you all then. Um, stay safest and bestest of travels all the way to Bendigo, of all, or to all going to Bendigo. Absolutely, Black Pearl Knits, absolutely, and thank you. I will try and be safe and not die in my two days of driving in each direction. Um, <laughs> I'm not sad, Donna. I have other talents she's hitting me up for. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. I'll catch you all later. You be good. And um, I think that's it for today. Um, see you later. Bye. <laughs>